Hey guys, it's the Activators here. I know we normally post NBA and Madden content, but since these games have been dying off, we decided to post a new type of video. So like if you enjoy it, subscribe if you're new, and comment down below what other ideas we should do. So we've all heard about Paul George getting traded to the Thunder and returned for Victor Oladipo and DeMontis Sabonis. This is a great trade for the Thunder. The crazy fact is that Oladipo and Sabonis' contracts are about $4 million more than Paul George's. George has stated that he would go to the Lakers next year once he's a free agent. But in his statement on Bleacher Report, he commented, If we get a killer season in Oklahoma, we make the conference finals, or upset the Warriors to do something crazy, I'd be dumb to want to leave that. George has also stated in a Bleacher Report, Katie was like, that place would blow you away, he told me. They can offer what other teams can in terms of people and the preparation and the facility. This is crazy for the Thunder. If they could keep George, that would change him to maybe even a dynasty. What they would have to do is get rid of either Adams or Canada in the offseason. Adams is making $22 million a year and Canada's making 18. With the vulnerability of a potential trade with either Canada or Adams clearing up enough cap and inflation of next year, and implying that Russell and George accept their play options, allowing the Thunder to pursue big name free agents at the center positions, including Demarcus Cousins, Joel Embiid, or even DeAndre Jordan. Obviously, the best choice would be Demarcus Cousins out of the three. If no other trade is in place for Canada and he knows that he is not one in Oklahoma, he may decline his player option, allowing the Thunder to pursue Demarcus Cousins. A max offer sheet for Demarcus Cousins would be five year $146.23 million. If other order free agents and Carmelo Anthony see potential super teams on the horizon in Oklahoma City with three All Stars, maybe he would take a mid level exception of a contract of around three years $18.9 million. The super team would physically be impossible to compete with unless the Warriors stay together keeping future free agents in Klay Thompson and Draymond Green. The NBA Finals would pretty much be decided in the Western Conference Finals. The Western Conference would have potential 4-5 to five super teams including the Timberwolves and the Rockets and maybe even the Spurs. Also in Paul George's statement, he concluded that he's yet to be on a winning team and to him that's all about winning. If he was on a rising super team and winning, he would stay and same goes for DeMarcus Cousins who has been on a losing team since he's been drafted in 2009. This team would be composed of four NBA All-Stars hungry for a championship, and aging Carmelo Anthony will pass his prime would take any amount of money to have a potential ring. Russell Westbrook would never leave OKC for a championship, and if they are contenders, Paul George would remain in Oklahoma City. It is a big what-if for Carmelo Anthony and DeMarcus Cousins, but with the facts there and the willingness to want to win could persuade the two All-Stars of joining the team in the next free agency. With that in mind, the team still had potential in players like Andre Robeson, they would have either Adams or Cano on the team at a backup position or they would have accumulated some type of trade value with the two assets. They also have a young developing shooting guard in Terrence Ferguson who has the potential to be a great scorer in the league. He didn't go to college and went straight to playing in the pros overseas where he didn't see the court much, but he would surely have time off the bench this year to prove himself. Another reason why Paul George would remain in Oklahoma City instead of pursuing his hometown Los Angeles Lakers is because the Lakers are in rebuilding mode and the process would expand over many years. He is hungry for a title now and wants to win so bad and rebuilding mode would be the last thing he'd want right now. He gets just a little bit taste of winning or Western Conference Finals appearance or winning against the Warriors and realizes this is his only possibility with a team like the Thunder and not the Lakers. Like you say, they would be dumb to leave. Like I said before, with other super teams on the rise like the Rockets and the Timberwolves, he would need to stay with the Thunder to compete. Although Russell Westbrook and Paul George may be much better players on their own, they will find a way to work together and will find much more success than by themselves. Russell Westbrook knows that after last year he can't win it all on his own, so he needs a good team full of superstars to try to beat the Warriors and other teams building up in the West. These new NBA super teams are becoming insane and Russell Westbrook needs to make his own. So with additions to Paul George, Carmelo Anthony, and DeMarcus Cousins, they would be anybody in the league. Maybe even creating a dynasty. So let me know how you feel in the comment section below. Do you think we got it right? Or what do you think we messed up on? Thanks for watching, and as always, like and subscribe.